Okay, some very odd developments. The engine went in, and the cross member only has mounts for one side. In addition, you can see how far forward the gear shift is. So this means the drive shafts are different lengths. So, what can we say? Oh. Except we're going to have to be fabricating one way or another. We've got a trip to that field of scout dreams up in Portland. Okay, this is what we uh, cut out, actually Bob cut out, with the torch. It was kind of a strain for his small torch, so next time we'll have to bring my bigger one if we need to cut something else out. Anyway, that's what we uh, made into the transmission mount on one side with uh, six holes in it. And anchored in, and uh, it's all in now. Show you more. Here it is from the other side, where it actually is. I'll try to get in there and show you what we're doing. What we're... Trying to figure out how to get an even cut. getting it to the right spacing for welding and keeping it aligned.
Looking good. Better than the uh, drive line shop giving you the shaft. Possibly we can use one of these longer ones if that's a bit too short. Anyhow, that should work. So far, getting there. There's some issues with the radiator hoses. I found a vacuum hose okay for the power brakes, power steering's in. The alternator's in. 
I've got a new electric fuel pump. Chevy alternator. Yep. One drive shaft's in. Now to look for the other. Need a overall 57 and a half inch. Okay. Tomorrow.